Welcome to RBL. Today, guys, we're going to be going over the Duco Survival Kit. I uh, picked this one, or I like this one because it's the harder plastic. It doesn't have the moisture vents anymore, really. So, this is a great kit. I just went ahead and added duct tape around it to give it both keep it together in one and just kind of give it a seal. Not entirely a water seal, but it's something that helps. And if you want to do something more in depth, you could. Uh, and yeah, let's get into it. Thank you guys for watching the videos lately, checking out the channel. As you can see, it's ripped individual strands for each side and overlapped them. But thank you guys for checking out the channel and supporting me. And all the feedback too is greatly appreciated. Whether that be in the form of likes, dislikes, and comments. Anything helps, guys, to form in the channel and to make a greater and better place. I'm new to this whole entertainment thing, so baby steps, guys. Work with me. Not against me. Appreciate it. So here's our little survival kit and our to-go kit, or our to-go box. Right on top, you can see we have two packs of our hand warmers. I'm going to grab them. There's 10 hours each. We have three blue zip ties. Three small water activated towelettes, and then one larger one. This is going to be used for filtration, first aid, signaling, or just uh, overall hygiene. Washing yourself, make sure your body's clean, make sure your hands are clean, things like that. Here we have our little first aid kit. So we have basic bandages, the larger ones. We have some sting relief pads here along with some smaller bandages for smaller gashes. And then two of the uh, bandages for blisters, along with some triple antibiotic ointment, triple antibiotic ointment. Then we have some twine for a cordage, along with some snare wire. And for fire starting, I added a mini bake with some duct tape with this, you just take a little piece of duct tape, rip it off, light it, and it just saves the fuel on your lighter. Also have a fire serum rod that you can strike, creating sparks, creating embers, so you can start a fire. And then I also added stormproof matches as a third way of starting fire. Then we have our basic well-known survival card. And get it out. I can just caught. Yeah. Flip that got caught. So here's our survival card for survival tool. Has all these little things on it for you. Yeah. Every tool helps you in a situation. Here we have our basic little uh Mirror, signal mirror, just off the top of a face camo kit for camp or for hunting. Sorry, guys. Getting too excited. Here we have my magnifying glass or magnifying card. Great for fire starting or first aid kits, picking out splinters and whatnot. Here we have a Ziploc bag with five bullion cubes. Here we got two packets of water purification powder. Pocket sewing kit has one button, one uh, needle, or actually two buttons, sorry, slid to the other side. And then a safety pin, along with five different individual threads. Here we have an emergency signal whistle. It clips on so you can have it on your exterior if you really wanted to. Next I have my American Eagle Outfitters Swiss Army Knife. This is a basic first army or Swiss Army Knife. Here's some duct tape for gear repair. Trail marking first aid. Just extra duct tape pretty much. Got a little wire saw 
So if you need to make a shelter or something like that, or a splint, you have the ability to. Keep you warm, you have an emergency rescue blanket or a mylar blanket. Great little blankets, keep it warm. Great for shelter making as well. If you want to reflect heat back at you from a fire. You got a rain poncho and an emergency orange. Keep you dry. For navigation, I just have a little button compass. My water collection bag, water purification bag, along with an instant coffee. And some additional smaller twine cordage. And that's the kit, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have a nice day.